going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We got Cody's GT500 and it's gonna go on the dyno. We just made it over to Palm Beach Dyno. It's, I'm been, a, <laughs> it's been a struggle for Cody getting this thing ready, but. Yeah, like solid three hours of sleep in the last like 36. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. just figuring out like a little, little like, um, not really figuring out any issues, just wrapping up little small things around the car from like in every aspect, like the little things people don't see, like when you're building a car front to back, like alternator, powering that, make sure it gets 12 volt supply, uh, intercooler system, um, new feed line for their uh, fuel system, stuff like that, just changing injectors and making tunes out, and so it just stuff like that takes time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, so let's get it unloaded and we'll get it inside on the dyno. Let's see how uh, Cody's E85 cold start is. <laughs> So Cody's been, um, you yeah. know, kind of tuning it. Learning Holly. Yeah, so it's the yeah, Holly. Uh, LB stuff. So it's like the the base file it's on is very, uh, uh, very touchy. <laughs> <laughs> so Ken's gonna be helping out with some tuning today on the Holly, which is gonna be sweet. But for now, this is all Cody right here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it starts up and drives, I mean, I guess that's a win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, pretty much, almost there. I hope it's a little bit too much. Uh, Cody's adjusting his uh, drive-by cable. Drive-by Cody right now. <laughs> drive-by. You excited? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's car is strapped down on the dyno. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of the setup. It's an MHS built 5.4, ported heads, LNM NSR cams, 3A Whipple. It's got full fuel system, uh, some JBA headers, and ID 1300s. So he might be running into a limit just like my car was. That's why I went to ID 1700s, but put it together and Cody's been cranking on this thing like crazy. If you want to follow his Instagram, Cody underscore 5.4. I got a car running behind me, but uh, I want to show you outside for a little bit. There's not one, not two, but three 2020 GT500s outside, and a McLaren 720S. So, 
Some really cool stuff going on out here. Pull. Just kind of feeling it out. <laughs> hey, it didn't break yet, so. Boy, the bike 5,000 RPM. It's probably a lot. That hurt my ears. That was loud. Mm. This is. How is it louder than mine? <laughs> Mine's open X pipe too. It is. So we got Ken on the Holly. <laughs> Getting the badass at anything like that dirty. <laughs> Far so good. Let's that see one what she does. Like a blind pull, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure everything's kind of in the ballpark. Yeah. Looks like it was. I'm kind of butt hurt. Your car's louder than mine. That's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, what RPM was that at? 3,900 RPM, 18 degrees the spark. Um, a little bit of fuel in it. On 26 PSI is what it saw pretty much off the hit because the, the, we weren't even spinning the blower. Um, it just saw pretty much 26 pounds off the hit. So, um, 3900 RPM and then you let out. So, <laughs> it's, it's going to make some here. steam. <laughs> it's only up from here. Pull number two. Let's do this damn thing. <laughs> It's not bad. It's been not bad. Figure out a few little issues. I mean, I love what third pole in. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. So.
tear that belt apart? It's coming apart. How's it looking? It, uh, good. The dad, I'm still having problems with the data log. Yeah. Alright Cody, so we killed the belt on that one. Yeah, just, uh, we have a uh, alignment issue with the tensioner, in it. tensioner itself. Um, it looks like it needs to be spaced out a little bit on the uh, timing cover. Not a huge deal. Um, it, uh, this day was an absolute success um, for sure because, I mean, I, the last 48, 72 hours, I mean, I wish we would have filmed it, but it's been an, it was an absolute thrash putting this car together. I mean, there were so many little things that needed to be tidied up and even completed. So. Um, to get here and even just to make power alone, um, let alone do a motor break in and stuff like that, uh, you know, was ideal. I mean, this car had three minutes of idle time on it before we strapped it to the dyno. And then the very first hit makes a solid 850 wheel at 3,900 RPM and then backs it up with a 1,069 and 903 torque. Mm -hmm. uh, SAE smoothing SAE five. five. That's at 18 degrees of timing. Yeah, 18, well, yeah, 18 degrees of timing on an unknown, so we haven't uh, done a timing map and measured it off a timing light on the crank to see if, if you know anything about Hollies. Hollies can be off anywhere from four to eight degrees out of the box um, or, with, with, with what you're actually commanding. So uh, we're gonna go back, put a timing light on it, make sure what we're seeing is ideal. Um, judging off an uh, uh, actual strap on a spark plug, um, it looks like we could definitely be playing with you know four to six degrees more of timing. So um, not only that, I mean this is on a three two five fifteen. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a lot more room yeah. for boost. I mean we got another uh, what eight pulley sizes plus to go. Um, minimal, like minimal, we got some. I mean all the way down to a two five and increments of one point one two five. So. So there's um, just a few more things. Yeah, I mean, it was a wild day. I mean, a wild successful day. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better day. I mean, get on here to make power and have no problems. I mean, we, we just got a little things that we got to tidy up and get it, you know, get it back here. But um, couldn't ask for a better day. So and Ken got a in. solid map on it. So. Yeah, we got a solid base file on it. Um, so just clean up a little few things, come back, and then uh, put this up in the 12, 1300 wheel zone. So yeah, buddy. So these are the final numbers for now. Obviously, it's still low boost, low timing for what it's going to see. But uh, just got some odds and ends to tidy up. But Bumby Steiner did an awesome job. It's not a holly is not a normal thing that they do too. Yeah, Ken, so, I mean, yeah, Ken was down for it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's badass. Cody stuff. got it mm -hmm. sort of to run. Yeah, I got it. Then, I got it to where it would, it would work, but um, it, obviously, I, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm new to tuning, so I, I know some little things and I know what numbers should be but I don't know how they correlate with each other so having somebody there to uh, you know just really I mean especially when you're playing with this much I mean you know this is a 50 plus thousand dollar race car at this point that's how much money's been put into it so you know you know playing with fire is not an ideal thing especially when you're new to this stuff so I'd rather have somebody back me up and uh, you know confirm what I'm doing and you know can't just a badass dude all the way around you know Paul McChino the guys are good here so um, we'll bring it back and uh, really turn this thing up so Hell yeah yeah. So uh, this is STD numbers. We'll show both SAE, STD. Um, like I said, these numbers really don't mean anything. So we're just essentially just breaking in. Essentially just breaking in a motor. <laughs> so um, once, uh, like I said, once we get back here, we'll, we'll turn it up. But STD, um, you know, a lot of the old numbers that were on the car, you know, on previous combo on the stock motor, were in STD. You know, what I showed to everybody else. So um, the old combo on stock motor made 950. So. Um, you want to see a, you want to see a flex? Damn you want to see a flex? <laughs> nah, that one? Oh, <laughs> that's a lot more. <laughs> We're gonna get it down the track, though. I would almost guarantee I will probably out mile, mile an hour you just off of weight, just because the the wheel. The people don't understand this. Just off weight alone, I'll probably still out mile an hour Andrew at this power level than what Andrew makes, just because of the difference in our cars and how much they weigh. I mean, yeah. like, this is geared towards quarter mile stuff, so, you know, once we get up there and start making what Andrew's making, um, it's going to be <laughs> baller. <laughs> 1014, this is my numbers in STD. Yeah. Oh,
Well, I think that's a wrap. I think we got to come back, make some more power with this one, make some more power with mine. But, uh, yeah, it's an overall win, for sure. So. Yeah, for sure. Can so, couldn't argue there. I didn't turn it up. Like I told myself, I was not going to turn it up. We're just going to smack down a solid 1,050, 1,100. Threw it right through. So, couldn't yeah. complain. So, guys, make sure you slap the like button down below. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And we'll have plenty more GT500 content coming soon.